On July 20th of 1969, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong made history. When Apollo 11 landed on the surface of the moon, Neil Armstrong stepped outside of the lunar lander and he radioed back to Houston. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That moment made a difference in, for humanity. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests, as momentous an occasion as that was, that one small step, that giant leap, may not have occurred were it not for small steps and giant leaps that took place years and decades before that. Were it not for the small steps and the giant leaps of Joshua Johnson decades earlier, we may not have witnessed that landing on the moon. You may be wondering, who is Joshua Johnson? Joshua Johnson was a father and a husband. He had four small children in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. And during the turn of last century, blacks in America, especially in that part of America, were not able to go to school beyond the eighth grade. He saw the potential in his children. He wanted them to be able to realize their full potential. So he made a small step. He went 120 miles away from their hometown to another town in West Virginia where it was possible for blacks to attend high school as well as college. 120 miles away, they rented a house. They stayed in that house for the entire school year so that his four children could attend high school and college. In the meantime, he made a giant step backwards to go back to his hometown where he worked in a hotel. He did this for eight years until all of his children graduated from high school and college. One of his children, Catherine Johnson, a mathematical human computer, a hidden figure, if you will, grew up to work at NASA's Langley Research Center. She was responsible for calculating the trajectory that allowed Alan Shepard to go into space, that allowed John Glenn to orbit the Earth, that allowed Apollo 11 to safely navigate from the Earth to the moon and back. And she was part of the team that also helped Apollo 13 come back to Earth safety, safely after some difficulty. Were it not for those small moments of Joshua Johnson saying, I see something in my children, and I want the world to see it. Were it not for the giant leap of moving 120 miles away so that they could have the education to realize their full potential, we may not have witnessed that momentous occasion of human beings landing on the moon. It's difficult to see the interconnectedness of one moment to the next moment to an outcome. But trust me, in this interconnected galactic cosmic web of existence that we all share, every moment matters. Every moment, every small step has the potential to make a difference. We may not see that at the time we make the small step. We may only see it in hindsight. Oh, here I am now, and how did I get here? Oh, this step came before, and this step came before that, and this step came before that, and I began here. We don't always have the clarity of foresight where we can say that the small step I take now will lead to some momentous milestone or outcome later. For many people, we may not have the motivation to take that one small step. We may not think that we have everything within us. Who am I? Oh, I'm not this, I'm not that, I don't have this. We start counting up all of our perceived less thans, our deficits. And in many cases, we stay firmly rooted in the status quo, never daring to dream to take even one small step towards our future. I want to share with you three small steps that I think we can all take 
to be a little more successful, to have a little more joy and fun in our lives. How many of us would like to have a little more success and joy and fun in life? Yes? Yes. yes. Wonderful. Step number one, and this is from a spiritual teacher that I, that I have uh, come to revere over the years. His name is Osho. Osho said, you must be courageous if you want to speak the truth. Yes? Yes. We may know the truth, but to have it come out of our mouths, oh, I don't know if I say this, will they like me? Will there be difficulty? It takes courage to speak the truth. It takes courage to make a decision, to even decide to take that small step. Yes? Yes. yes. Whatever you want to have, do, or be in life, you must first muster the courage to dare to dream that to want that for yourself, to believe that it is even possible for you. And we know that it's possible because we see other people having, doing, or being the things that we want to have, do, or be, yes? Yes. yes? yes. We sometimes think, well, why are they able to do that? Step number one, they had the courage to take a small step mm -hmm. in the direction of their dreams. Mm -hmm. Number two, you must make a commitment. I can't take that small step once and then expect my entire life to change. I can, but I might be delusional. Mm -hmm. I must continue to take small step after small step after small step. Some people ask me, James, how did you get so comfortable and calm and poised on the stage? I freak out and get <laughs> nerves and anxiety and I can't, the words just come fumbling out of my mouth. I tell them I've been practicing this since I was five years old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I'm now 177 <laughs> years old. I've been doing this a long time. But I have made a commitment to it. Well, James, why did you join Toastmasters if you've been doing this since you were five? Because I've made a commitment to getting better. Whether you're new at this and you want to overcome your fear of public speaking, or you're a seasoned professional and you want to get better, make a commitment to your craft. The third suggestion is competence. Competence comes after you've mustered up the courage to take the step and you've made a commitment to practicing and getting better. You start to develop competence. As you listen to others, as you get evaluations from others, which we give all the time here in Toastmasters, as you continue to step up here to the platform and speak your words, speak your truth, you will develop a certain level of competence. You may even get to a point of unconscious competence, where you're just good and don't even know how good you are. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, whatever you want to have, do, or be in life, whatever difference you want to make in the world, start with the courage to dream the difference. Make that small step. And perhaps that small step, over time, will yield competence and confidence. And you too will make the difference that you want in your world. Thank you.